welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us here at 726, right here in Mountain Home, Arkansas. Dan Reynolds. Karen McKeg. Oh, hey. I thought you were going to introduce no, me. No, you can do that. Real stars don't introduce sure themselves, do. Dan. Hey, this is an ego thing. Yeah, they do. Hi, I'm Karen McKeg, the star of <laughs> 726 Mountain Home. And Dan's here yeah. with me. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Good. Better. I've been a little Good. under the weather, but under? I'm better. What's, yeah. what's the pro prognosis? Well, I'm I'm upright and walking, so that's, that's good. good. That's good. Did you have a little bit of allergies or something? No, or? no, it was some kind of GI thing. We oh. won't go into the gory details because trust me, it would be gory. But yeah, okay. I, I am upright. Okay. So. Well, good. How are you? Good. You. I was going to say <laughs> you were on the tail end, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Don't say it. Yeah. Don't say it. Hey. But you're okay. I mean, you told me that you had a little car accident with I your... Well, I didn't, yeah. The car yeah. had an accident. But I was yes. just driving the car when the accident happened. On the road. That sounds funny. <laughs> but I, I was coming back from Fayetteville, and I, I came over this little hill. <clears throat> and unbeknownst to me, it was a, it was a deer shindig. Oh, on they the were road. having a party. There was three in each. There was one in the, the straddling the middle lane. And there were two other ones that decided oh. to take up the left and right lanes, or the east and west lanes. And so I thought instantaneously, which one will I hit? Yeah. Not should I hit, but which well, one no will I? There's no place to go, because you never no. know if you had swerved, they run everywhere. And yeah. And here's a little tip for people that have uh, full coverage insurance. Yes. If perchance I would have dodged the deer yes. and ended up in a rollover of some kind, my deductible would have been higher than if I went ahead and hit the deer. There's, huh. there's different something. coverage for types of accidents. So since I hit the deer, my deductible is lower. Well, thank goodness. So the, the motto of that is... Don't kill yourself is what the motto is. Don't kill yourself yeah. trying to dodge the deer. Yeah. But still, yeah, it's, they're it's tough. Tougher. The deer are tough? Yes. Yeah. I mean, they're tough on mm -hmm. your car. Yeah, they, they were. I mean, I hit this deer, and then it went under the car and then out the back. And I mean, the way I hit it, I knew it was instantly, you know, Dead. it had a demised uh, experience. But anyway, I thought, well, the car seems okay. So I, I, I dr kept driving. And then it wasn't just a few few minutes that the heat started going up oh, on the radiator. No. So I got out and and it, the radiator was smashed and oh. the grill was pretty well. The grill actually was broke, but it it had bounced back. It didn't look like it was hurt at all. But so is it fixable? Oh yeah. But it's yeah. just yeah, is it's, it in the uh, it's in the shop. car hospital in the shop. right now? Yes, Very see. good. Okay. Yeah, no doing a major surgery. Oh my. Well, yeah. at least you were okay. I mean, it, seriously, people get hurt, you know, with the deer people, that come through the windshield People get and hurt stuff. because they because they react suddenly and they're not sure what to do, but they say that you're supposed to, you know, if you want to apply the brakes, yeah, but don't lock your brakes up and mm -hmm. don't avoid don't go off the road. You just came up over that hill or whatever and floored it, didn't you? You no. saw them out there and it's like, "Oh, well, no. I'm having Deer meat for dinner. No, no. I don't <laughs> like deer meat to begin yeah, with. Me either much. It's kind of gamey. Yeah, it is. But anyway. Anyway, well, thank goodness you're okay. Yep. Cars can be replaced. They can. Yes. After the deduct after the deductible. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> so. Yep. All right then. All right. Well, there you have it. There we have. Thanks there for we go. tuning in. Yeah. <laughs> See Just you that. next time. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've got we have guests today. We do. We need to talk about who's going to be on the show. We do. And we can start at the top of the list now because uh, Duncan is here. Oh, there he is over there. There he, he is. is. Again, you were tardy. Yeah. He's got a, he's got a <laughs> note. I know he's got a he's note. He's got a note. Well, we have Duncan Clayton from Nature's Way here again uh, today with us to talk about who knows what. Always informative. It's always informative. Uh, Glenn Preby is here. To, it's fair time oh. coming up to mm -hmm. uh, talk with us about the Baxter County Fair. And that means fall. It does mean fall. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh-huh. I love the fall. Do you? I do. Well, it's coming. It's coming. And then finally, we have mm -hmm. two friends of mine. 
Oh? Yes, mine. My friends. Oh, okay. From Twin Lakes Playhouse, we have <laughs> Stacy Tiffin and Bill Simpson, who I called Simmons last time he was here, but he's a good friend of mine. I just, you know, was messing with him. Anyway, they're here to talk about uh, an upcoming play that we're getting ready to open over at Twin Lakes Playhouse called Mama Won't Fly. Mm. So, it's going to be a very exciting, informative show. All right. Well, let's get right to it. We're going to take okay. a quick break, and when we come back, we'll be talking with Duncan Clayton from Nature's Way down on the square. We'll find out all about what he's wanting to talk about and maybe some insightful, informative information that everyone can use. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 